All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to A-Train Gaming. Today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a half of Domination on the map Fringe. Probably one of the best halves I've had in Domination. I just decided to go hard because I was playing for an hour and I couldn't get a decent gameplay. And I just decided to turn up my headsets for this one and just go absolutely off. So I believe I go 35-2 and two on this side, but probably my most kills and a half. And other than my flawless side of Domination that I posted, probably my best half of Domination. But today's video, I'm going to be doing a 5 things about me. And I think it's important to do a video like this because although I am a gaming channel, and I'm always going to be pretty much a gaming channel, it's what I like to do. I'm going to be talking about the game, I'm going to be giving my opinion on games. I think it's important as somebody who's starting off on YouTube to make a connection to people who watch the videos. I feel like the people who watch my videos don't know that much about me, and that's something I want to change today. So I'll just give you five quick things, look quick facts about me. So let's start off right away with one of the weirdest things about me and that's happened in my life is that I have had a collapsed lung. And for those of you, maybe you want to hear the story, I'll tell a full story, maybe another video. But basically what you need to know is that you can get a collapsed lung from just being really tall and skinny and I'm six foot three and really skinny and I actually had a collapsed lung for two weeks and I went to school and I just, I didn't know what it was, I just thought it was chest pains and I remember playing a baseball game and pitching in a baseball game and it was the most painful thing I've ever done in my life and I remember I tried to strike out when I was batting on purpose just so I didn't have to run the bases because I was too tired with the lung and I ended up hitting a triple and I had to run and I almost died pretty much running the bases it felt like uh, but I had to get my lung inflated I was in the hospital for three days basically puking up blood and mucus and it was disgusting never want to go through that again the most painful experience of my life but the, talking about baseball, that's going to lead me into my next point, and that is that I was in high school. I was third team All-State two years in a row for both basketball and baseball. And baseball, basically, I was a pitcher. I didn't pitch very fast. I just threw strikes. And then basketball, I was just a good team player. Uh, I made a lot of three-pointers, and I took ch charges. In a year, I actually, if you guys follow basketball, I took 56 charges, which I'm willing to bet is a record somewhere but they just don't have the stats on high school charges. I almost guarantee 56 charges in a season is a record. But sports has always been something that's been a big part of my life. Although in high school, I really kind of lost the drive and I just really didn't like the group of people that were in my sports. Uh, sports is still always a big part of my history, so I feel like that's something I need to share with you guys. Uh, the next thing is my favorite color. Now, my favorite color has changed probably a lot especially when I was younger it was green it was purple it was blue but basically for the last five years or so I think my favorite color has been black now I know that's kind of bland but I think the main reason my favorite color is black is just because that's the clothing I wear I basically wear all black clothes I wear the black skinny jeans I wear black band t-shirts uh, I don't know I just really like the look of black and I feel like black's one of the only colors that goes with everything so, I don't know, that's just me. Black's always been my favorite color since high school, I think. And uh, I don't really know if that's weird or not. I don't know how much people's favorite color is black, but it, it's mine. So, there's that. Uh, the next one has to do with video games because I am a gaming channel. So, I figure one thing in here should be doing with video games. And that is my favorite video game of all time. And that game is Tony Hawk Pro Skater, the original game for the PlayStation 1. Now, I've been a gamer since I was... Three, I've been playing video games. I started off with Tony Hawk on the PlayStation and Pokemon. And those are both up there for favorite games along with Call of Duty. But the original Tony Hawk Pro Skater, if some of you are too young to know what that is, just the funnest game. The campaign, the multiplayer, you could play like, it wasn't like online, but you could like play on the console with somebody else. I just love that game. I used to watch, they had demos made where you could just watch the computer in a little stunt video and I used to watch the hell out of that so that is my favorite game of all time and then the last thing about me is something that really has a like big control over my whole life is that I'm a very shy person uh, I don't really open myself up to a lot of people I really I'm pretty sheltered in my room playing video games a lot uh, I really don't I'm not like a people person like uh, I used to when I was younger but I just I don't know, high school kind of changed me a little bit, and I'm a little bit more uh, shy. And if I get to know somebody and I, I like them, I'm, I can be like open and I can have a good time. But for the most part, I'm pretty quiet. But that's why it's a surprise for me that I like YouTube so much, that I feel like this is a good way for me to be open 
and I feel like the people are still gonna watch my videos the people who support me and I don't know I just really think it's important to let you guys to be honest with people on YouTube so I'm a very shy person and if you ever contact me and I seem that way like it's just who I am I'm sorry I know I'm kind of awkward but that's that's always been who I am but anyway guys that's gonna be it for the video uh, the next type of video I'll be doing like this is I'm going to be doing a Q&A whenever I hit 50 subscribers. So if you have anyone interested, any friends or anything who would be interested in my channel, let them know and subscribe if they want. Because at 50 I'll be doing a Q&A. But thank you all for watching and I will talk to you all later.